Hey, what is up you guys? It's Megan and this is my take on Snow White's Cottage for my Sims 4 Disney Princess Legacy series. And welcome to old subscribers and maybe new subscribers. I am starting a new series on my channel called the Disney Princess Legacy Series. And I figured since we have to start with Snow White, it's in the rules. Why not build Snow White's cottage? I'm not a professional builder, you guys. And for any of those who come to my channel often, you know that I usually just get pre-made stuff off of the gallery. But I really wanted to try to build something really creative so I'm gonna flash a picture of Snow White's cottage like the outside of it anyways like right now and you guys can kind of get a hint of what I was looking for disclaimer I did start the build without recording I was just messing around one day and I was like oh, I'll build this for my series and then, then like once I got done with like the entire outside of the house I was like wait I should be filming this why aren't I filming this so I started filming just a little bit late that's why the outside is already finished unfortunately but hey, something's better than nothing, right? So guys, if you are new here, please consider subscribing and please slap that like button if you're so excited for The Sims 4 Disney Princess Legacy series. I'm gonna be posting the premiere to that on Saturday, so be here or be square. <laughs> so uh, like I said, I'm not a professional builder, but I really always like the look of terraforming, if that's what you call it. I think it is. So this is my first real shot at trying to make something super outdoorsy and super, like, kind of foresty. I did fence it in because it would, be, it would have been way too expensive to terraform this entire lot. So, you know, I fenced it in just a little bit. Moving on to the inside of the house, I wasn't really sure how I wanted to divide up the rooms. I did just do a basic shell to get the outside of the building the way that I wanted it to look. And I figured this whole look that I'm going to be going for is just a little bit old. Not too old because we have like a, like a modern Snow White, but it still is going to look kind of like a cottage. So I know that I'm going to have to add on because in this series, we're going to have to have seven kids all with one negative trait. They all have to come from the same dad. All the rules are going to be explained in the very first episode. So we're eventually going to have to add on to the house. But for right now, I just did a simple one bed, one bath, um, just because that's what the cottage looked like in the picture. So as you can see, I'm trying to find like something that kind of looks cottagey, something that kind of doesn't look too polished or too refined. I ended up going with a more refined wood just because that's what I just figured it would look like. But I've never done something with such like muted colors before. So this was all new to me. I wanted to add in like little fun things like for example the doors so they have the daisies on them and I don't think that Snow White's Cottage was that nearly enthusiastic because if I remember correctly she was like really poor and she just like cleaned a lot but everything was still dusty and you know she had a lot of animal friends but like where she was living you know it wasn't the best situation it was a cottage and not the really cool modern hip type just like the really old type <laughs> but I did give her a bit of an upgrade as you can see there's no like holes in the wall it's not dirty or anything like that I did um want to make sure that the items that I was purchasing didn't really affect the skills or anything like that because all the skill building items those are what we're going to be buying later whenever we have no money because that's part of the challenge but all the decorative stuff I wanted to buy out front but I did add a lot of decorations and I know that that can also put the sims in a good mood but I figured hey why not I'm already doing a really hard challenge the 100 baby challenge as you guys know so I figured that if I'm going to do this challenge I might as well have a really nice house or express my building skills and share it all with you guys because I know um, recently I've been getting a lot of requests for speed builds and if this is something that you guys are interested in like more often please let me know like I love building this took me like maybe three hours in total to get done and I didn't mind it it was really fun to just sit back and build and you know do something just kind of relaxing and then be able to do a voiceover after that only lasts like 10 minutes so guys just let me know if you guys want more of that and I promise you guys I will get better at like knowing what each item looks like because I don't often decorate my sims houses a ton I mostly just add greenery and plants so you guys can see me pulling out a bunch of items like does this look good does this, is this okay what what is this so um like I said I will get better at that I found a lot of useful items in the outdoor retreat pack for example that little end table that I put by the door there um it was so natural looking and I really enjoyed it and I ended up using that set for many other things also I added a wishing well to the backyard because I'm pretty sure if I remember correctly from the movie there's like a part 
where she's like crying over a wishing well. <laughs> I could be wrong. I could be completely wrong. I don't know. Somebody fact check me. But if you guys are interested in downloading this build, it is in the gallery underneath the origin ID Megan plays with two ends. You could also search the hashtag hashtag Megan plays with two ends. I will share more about it later because um, it seems like everybody always has trouble finding my origin ID for some reason and I'm not sure why that is. Okay, so as you can see, I put like the stick lamp around. I used it twice and I really liked it. I didn't realize that that was in the game. You know the one I'm talking about right there in the corner? I don't know. I thought that that was really cool and I wasn't sure, you know, where exactly that came from and I was looking for a more rustic looking bookshelf but I couldn't find one to fit so we ended up with a suspended one on the wall. Um, so now I'm just like looking for certain art pieces. I'm starting to move into the kitchen a little bit more. Um, I knew that I wanted a simple place to sit um, and a pretty decked out kitchen because if I remember correctly, I know that Cinderella is the one who cooks a lot, but also Snow White. She's pretty talented, I think, either that or I just remember something about a kitchen. Guys, this is my um, very old memory of Snow White. So as you guys can see, I added like the fridge it kind of looks like it's made out of wood and I end up adding the stove that also looks rustic and I wanted to clutter up the counters a little bit with like cooking utensils and stuff like that so you know of course and then I added a fire alarm in case my sim accidentally starts a fire but I don't think that they had those back in the day don't judge me and of course we have to have something for them to stand on whenever they're at the stove all day and you know the kitchen is not done here like I went back and I added a lot more but I was going for more of these classic paintings which I know can be kind of expensive which is why I'm like eh I'm not really going with the budget right now. We're just going to kind of go for it because some of you who are new or old here might know that I don't use cheats and I don't like using cheats. I think it defeats the purpose, but I figured we could live in a really nice house for the series because, you know, maybe some new subscribers might be like, why are you living in a box? I don't want to live in a box, guys. <laughs> I wanted to live in a beautiful fantasy cottage, okay? So now we're just adding some decorations to the shelves. We have yet to do the bedroom or the bathroom. The bathroom took me like three seconds though. Um, what was tricky was finding rugs, guys. I struggled with rugs the entire build and I think that you guys can see that because I keep on going back and changing rugs and moving things and being like, what does, colors does this rug have? I don't know. I still don't think that I found exactly what I was looking for for the rugs, but I think that what we found will do. And of course, I was just adding more shelving. And you guys, I really do like the way that the kitchen turned out, and I hope that you guys enjoy it too. Now, onto the bedroom. I had there, obviously it's a very oh, I guess the bathroom. What am I doing? Hello, this is a voiceover. I'm lost. <laughs> bathroom. So for the bathroom, I wanted to add in the um, same wooden featured like sink that went along with the set of the tables that I was using earlier and this is how I could make them fit. I will probably go back and change the type of shower that we have just to make everything match a little bit more. I made the wallpaper in this room like kind of old. This is the city living wallpaper of like used apartment. I figured that went really well with like a cottage because I mean it's dirty, it's old, it's been there for a while and I thought it was perfect. On to the bedroom. Guys, this is the first time I've really ever used curtains in a build. Be surprised, be supportive, and I wanted to use, you know, the wooden bed, and then we have the wooden end table. I end up moving it down to the foot of the bed right there, um, and then adding some just clutter on top of it, because I figured that's what, you know, something like this would look like. We are going to have to move the bed off the wall if we bring home a guy to sleep with, or a husband, or something like that. I don't think we can get married if we need to have seven kids and that just doesn't leave room in the household for a husband but you know that's fine I'll figure it out so you guys can see I am putting on some final finishing touches to all of the areas just looking around look a little garden hose out front um you know pots and pans knives and forks <laughs> all that jazz in the kitchen but guys I think that this turned out like actually pretty good it's nice and cluttered but not in too much of a cluttered way like my son will be able to move around I did end up adding the fireplace because I do have the fireplace sticking out from the roof and I figured we should try to be consistent right so I really do like the addition to the fireplace so hopefully it does not catch the house on fire because that would be tragic absolutely tragic and of course I wanted to add like a coat rack and more pots and pants just everything guys I went a little overboard but like I said I hope that you guys enjoyed this build and now we're going to be moving in to some like screenshots and movements of panning and stuff like that just so that you guys can get a better idea of the house itself now, like I said, this house is going to be uploaded to 
origin or the community you guys can find it by easily hashtagging hashtag megan plays with two ends or looking up my origin id which is also megan plays with two ends if you get lost you can always tweet me um i will respond with my origin id my twitter is megan plays m-e-g-a-n-p-l-a-y-s i highly recommend you guys follow me because during the whole process of making this video i uploaded screenshots and little video clips from it like teasing it so if you guys want first looks at everything that I upload, please consider following me on Twitter. And yeah, that's where all the juicy information is. So here's just a simple walkthrough of the house. We are about to move on to screenshots. But guys, I'm so proud of myself. I think that this looks really good. So don't crush my dreams in the comments, okay? <laughs> now, it's going to be really interesting to make like a Prince Charming for her and like kind of see what kids we have. It's going to be like this whole giant endeavor, which I'm really excited to embark on. So that concludes the build. I really do hope that you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you slap that like button. And if you're new here, please consider subscribing because I upload new Sims 4 content every single day ranging from the 100 baby sim challenge I'm gonna start doing builds and also legacy series and more vampire stuff just everything guys it would mean the world to me and like I mentioned before on my Twitter I always have screenshots of sim stuff I'm very interactive on there so if you don't feel like your comments are reaching me here on YouTube please feel free to reach out to me on Twitter with any questions comments and concerns so that's it for today guys thank you so much for watching and I will talk to you guys next time bye